percentage and the popula populace. And the populace, yeah. Uh, percentage and the people of Rome. Or what are public something? Yeah. But but yeah. S P Q R. Yeah, gun. Percentage, populace, poor people of Rome. Yeah, but but yeah, I mean that, that's what the brother was talking about. You know what I mean? It's it's just a difference of one has a quote unquote president or a czar or a caliphate or a, a, a Caesar. You know, the other one didn't. You know, so so yeah, hey, that that that's how they're interchangeable. I got a quick precept. Yeah, go ahead. This is uh, uh Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiasticus, chapter three. The first 15. It's just, it's just so crazy, bro. Like, when you see it, you be like, you're not even old enough to fucking wipe your ass, man. You know, but that goes to show you how Esau's uh, uh, wickedness and witchcraft ha has been spread across, just like his his philosophies, man. It's like a pandemic. Yeah. You know? Huh. Like, I mean, brother was talking about how he's corrupted things, man. The people are done, man. You ain't got a driver's license, but you, but you're a uh, lesbian. What? <laughs> That's crazy. I... <laughs> you, you know, you don't know how to drive, but you know how to to to, to, to munch carpet, man. Like that's crazy. You know? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. This is uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter three, verse fifteen. It says. That which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. And Yahweh required that which is past. So, so yeah, whether it was today's Rome, ancient Rome, you know, all those times beforehand, y'all by Shimei was shy. Hey, like the brother that said, hey, you gonna need all of that. Hey, we, hey, we, hey, we gonna, we gonna need all of that, man. You know. <laughs> Actually, y'all by Shimiel Shah requires it, man. So, so yeah, at any point, any kingdom, man, if you did harm to to the prophets of the Lord, all that's gonna be coming right back on you. Okay? That's right. Yeah, all right. So yeah, I'm gonna read that again. Verse 23. But yeah, you're right. It, and this verse 23 is interchangeable, but it says, Thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom. Because, right, this is nothing but the fourth kingdom revised. Right. This is the fourth kingdom revised. We are in the fourth kingdom. So it says, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth, which shall be diverse from all the kingdoms and shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down and break in pieces. Right. So it began in ancient Rome, you know? And, and, and if I could real yeah. quick, because we always talk about that three-headed snake of of uh, uh, the Vatican, which is in where? In Rome. Yeah, Rome, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, right, you got, you got the, the financial district, which is in London, right? And then you got the quote-unquote legal uh, system here in America, in the District of Columbia, you know? So I just wanted to throw that in there real quick. All right, this is verse 24. And the 10 and the 10 horns out of this kingdom are 10 kings that shall arise and and a, and a, oh, and and other shall rise after them. Right, America. Yes, America. Con. And he shall be diverse from the first. Right. And he shall subdue three kings. Bing. So three horns that we spoke of. Yep. Beautiful. All right, it says, uh, verse 25, and he shall speak great words against the Most High. Yep, yep, those great words, uh, his philosophies, all these wicked-ass doctrines, homosexuality, pedophilia, you know what I mean, bestiality, you know, putting up images of idols, you know, that's how he's speaking great words against uh, the saints of Yahweh Pai Shah. That's right, huh? And he, shall, and he shall speak great words against the Most High. Right. So they're showing you, they talk about him giving, being given a mouth. Mm -hmm. Right. That's all the doctrines and philosophies that go all throughout the earth. Right. You know, Esau's doctrines go, go worldwide. Yeah. 
Yeah, like like nobody has promoted. I mean, that that's why even on the image, man, like America is that whore that sits on top of many kingdoms. You know? Because whatever that philosophy, whatever that wine that she's pouring out, all the rest of the other nations follow. Just like with the economy. Everybody has to abide by the what? The dollar. You know? Just like, you know, the quote unquote uh uh yeah, because I want to say the United Nations was set up at, uh, as as a supporting group, uh, not you, uh, yeah, as a supporting group for America, or is that the EU, yeah. you, the United Nations? As a as a group? a support group for America. Well, yeah, as an ally, so you know, same shit. Yeah, allies support. Yeah, help. You know, so at any given time, you know, America can call on them. You know, they came out of the Cold War. Bingo. You know? Right. Yeah, because... To combat that uh, communism and the bingo, USSR. Bingo, in Russia. Yep, right. yep, God. Soviet Union. Because they, they know, they know God and Mega, which is Russia, is going to be after that ass. So, yeah, hey, those are all those philosophies, okay, those, those, those uh, words against you, how by Shemir I was trying to have been set up. That's right. Again, verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Right. And shall wear out the saints. Right. Of the Most High. Yep. And think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hands until a time and times and the dividing of the time. Right. And and that also goes to show you that it was going to be a man. You know what I mean? Like, like, like there is a culprit. You know what I mean? We always reference 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, and what, like, like the eighth verse or whatever, right? You know, that son of perdition. That, those are those same men that are reincarnated. That's why scripture says the thing which had been is, is now, and, and that which is to be have already been, and, and Yahweh required that which is past. So all of these ancient Roman Czars and Caesars or whatever you want to call it, you know, Augustus, uh, Claudius, uh, 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 Nero, you know, all of these cats are back here today doing the same things, man, changing times, changing laws, you know, because they, uh, I, I did a video on it, you know, like Esau needs that homosexuality, that vibe to go out here in the earth, man, because it reminds him of what? Rome and Greece. And that's a way of him dealing wisely with you Hebrew Israelites. Right. To turn you in that, you know, that's that self-destructive behavior. Mm. If you if you put producing, because what can two men produce together? AIDS. So that's yeah, some <laughs> uh, uh, recompense of their error, which God. is me. Yep. Ooh, God. But you're not going to, you know, your, your nationality is going to cease to exist in about two or three generations. Yep, that's it. Everybody become faggots. Yeah, you gotta get with a woman, man. That's that's common sense, man. Yeah, let me bring this up real quick because just to touch on that point, as the brother had said, this is uh, Genesis uh, five and two. It says, male and female created he them and blessed them and called. The day when they were created. So yeah, how about Shemir Shah created male and female, man? Okay? He didn't create Adam and, and Oh yeah, yeah, gun. Yeah, I mean, so so when you brought it up, you know what I mean? That whole homosexuality, that vibe, Esau pushes as a weapon, because as a brother I always likes to go into, sex is a weapon that Esau uses. Yeah, just, use that. Yeah. just like with eugenics, you know. Club of Rome, you know, all, all of these, those banking elite families, okay, they know who the children of your Albay Shimei are. Yeah, I see it sticking a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it was, I've been seeing it all uh, the time, but yeah. yeah, we got a backup. You okay, know So, so yeah, hey, we, we, uh, uh, Esau knows who the children of your Albay Shimei are, you know? That's the reason why he's setting it up, the way in which he's setting it up, you know, luring our people. You know, in, in, into these haunted houses, right? Having them believe in the American flag and shit. You know, damn, that motherfucker. 
He saw he saw got hot. The battery. Nah, yeah, he saw he saw yeah. tripping, man. But yeah, the, the whole point is, Esau uses sex as a weapon. You know, he uses food, everything really as a weapon. You know, water, your yeah, clothing. That, yeah. His blessing was the sword. Gun. So why why not capitalize on that and make everything a sword? Exactly. Like the brother says sex. He weaponizes it. Right. Yeah, your food, your water. You know, why else would you create HIV and other other uh diseases in the lab. Man, put them in on the Tuskegee Airmen mm. and give them syphilis just to see what the outcome and effects would be. Why would you do that? Just so you can weaponize sex. Now you gotta you gotta strap on a condom yep. when you want to get some pussy. Mm. You understand? Cause this white man yep. and his goddamn diabolical schemes. Yeah. You know, and, and, and people out here should be mad, especially you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans. Y'all should be mad out here, man. Yeah. But y'all not because y'all dwelling in your simplicity. You just happy to be here, man. You think here in America is as good as it gets. Uh. You don't know that the Heavenly Father has a kingdom that he wants to give to you. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Right. Who, who is the number one carrier of, of HIV and AIDS? Hmm. The black woman. Yeah, so you going to say, you know... You call yourself, you know, you want to you get in your, right. uh, let's get it on. You want to get in your mood. Shit, man, you better think twice because you you at war. Right. You stepping into a war zone. Yep. You know? Yep. You better think, you better think, think two or three times before you, you know, yeah. go in that thing or strap it up. Yeah, because like, like, like the brother was saying, man, you know, you do have a child, then you know, you you own yeah. you know child support or whatever else, man. You know what I mean? So so yeah, this hey this, this whole civilization, man, is turned upside down. And I shouldn't even call it a civilization, cause cause civil means that you're actually in order, man. Yeah, some type of order. You know? Yeah, but but yeah, hey, the so-called white man has to portray everything to be as if it were Rome, as if it were Greece. You know? That, hey, that's where he was in his quote-unquote glory, okay? He don't want to be reminded when he was in those caves and uh, in the Caucasus Mountains. That's what we doing, okay? We were reminding him, okay? That's right, Doc. We were reminding him, that's right. okay, of where the hell he really came from, okay? That, hey, that, that, hey, that's who you really are, Esau, okay? You don't want that truth to be told, you know? You're trying to do your best to hide who you really are, from from uh, the rest of the world, God. but the prophets of the Lord know, man, and we out here to proclaim it too. That's right. You got some more on that? Yeah, you could uh, finish, finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just finish the chapter. This is verse 26. But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion. Right to consume and to destroy it right. unto the end. And the kingdom and the dominion uh, and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints Ooh. of the Most High. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. I, I thought all people were going to make it into the kingdom, man. Clearly we had just talked about how Jacob is the only one that's going to have deliverance. Clearly, we had talked about how the law was only established with Jacob. That's right. Now he is saying that the saints of Yahweh by Shimei Shah are the only ones that are going to receive all of these possessions of, of these other heathen nations, man. Can you read that again? Yeah, no, verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven right. shall be given to the people of the saints. Yeah, you're gonna have to come up off of that, bro. You know what I mean? That crown, you know what I mean? Hey, it's time to sit in the dust, man. You know? That, hey, that's exactly where you're gonna be here very soon. You're not gonna be a queen no more, you know? Hey, everything in which you built up, hey, as scripture says, it's gonna be translated. I might grab that real quick. Go ahead. Of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Right. And all dominions shall serve and obey him. What? Hitherto is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel, my cogitations, 
much troubled me, yep. and my countenance changed in me, but I kept the matter in my heart. Yeah, Dan Daniel was flipping out, man. Yeah. You know, he's like, man, I don't know what to think of this. That was some heavy vision. Yeah, you know, you you see you see it wrong then, you see it wrong in the future. Yeah, showing you, yeah. <laughs> uh. You know, you you know, Esau uses that whole uh, what was that chick called uh, the Ghost of Christmas Past and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh. hey, that's that's what Yahweh shot did, man, or the angels. Y'all shot, uh, and the angels took Daniel into the future, man. Just, just like when you read in Ezra, they call you know, foreshadowing, right? In the movies or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you know. So, so yeah, like you come up with these these movies talking about Back to the Future. Hey, that's exactly what happened here to Daniel. It happened to Ezra. It, it, it happened to uh, many uh, of prophets where they received visions, and all of those visions. Uh, were of America being destroyed, you know? Of you so-called white people being placed in captivity, man. Yeah, You know? that's right. Being eradicated off the face of this earth, you know? Because you are the sons of the wicked, you know? Like, everything you've done here in this society, man, has brought about death, okay? Not life, but death. Yeah. So, so yeah, everything what you've done, guess what? You're about to ante up. <laughs> you remember yeah, that? You know what I'm saying? Get that food. Hey, that's exactly what's about to happen. You know? All those riches that you store, all that gold, all that silver, okay? All your precious lots in which you think you have, okay? I got houses, all these companies, you know, that you were going to pass on from generation to generation. We're going to do away with all of that, man, okay? You are not fit to rule, okay? None whatsoever, okay? Let me bring this out real quick. Uh, this is uh, Sirach chapter 10, verse 8. Oh, it got on everything? It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches, God by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Who is that one people? Who, who has riches right now? Huh? Let's just do a quick process of elimination. All right? Across the globe, who has, who's Big Bang Hank? You know? Who creates money? Huh? Who are these 13 uh, plus global elite uh, families. All right, let's, let's even dumb it down to that. Who are the Rothschilds? Huh? Who set up this whole wheel in motion? Huh? Who goes back to the Red Shield? Huh? Who goes back to Petra? Huh? Okay, that, that, that's one thought process, right? Because clearly, somebody's ruling this earth in riches. But it says, because of unrighteous dealings. Well, hold on. Well, let's think about this. Who's the most unrighteous dealer in the world? Well, if you ask me, the so-called white man. Oh, okay, well, just ask next time, man. It's not yours, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm looking at it. I don't care about you looking at it. I just don't want you to yeah, touch it. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? It's not okay. yours. So like, if I did like this, that's, that's not mine. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but you're cool. This is just splash, you know. Does it say pick me up? Like you go to a museum, can you just go? What's wrong with you, dude? It's crazy, I'm sorry, man. I, I thought you put this stuff. It's out. okay. Hey, hey, put, that's why we're here. Like ask. You said, just ask. I, 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 I thought you put this stuff out. So you Stop thinking, out. bro. Right to look at. Yeah. You said that right, not to touch. Yeah, but I, can't, I, I can't see it. But you can't see. All you have to do is ask, right? Yeah, we're right here, bro. Yeah. I would pick it up for you. If I had seen it, you wouldn't put it out. Oh man, <laughs> the devil, bro. You can always tell yeah, the devil. But you assume, bro. Hey, hey, do you go in somebody's house? Do you just say, oh, well, you know, I can't see that from here. I'm walking inside somebody's house. No, stop being disrespectful, bro. 
So uh, the, point, the point in which I'm making is this. If, if you want to see it, just ask, okay? That's all. I know it's a hard thing for you to do. See, see, that's the pride of Esau, man. That's the pride of Esau. You got to put yourself in our shoes. Do you know want people to 